Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. One more time, we are back in the house of the Lord. And we want to thank God for his benevolence, greatness, and his kindness towards us. Truly, we want to salute all our e-members, all our brethren, all our friends that are participating in this gospel, in this Bible study. We want to salute you with grace from God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. I feel rejuvenated to continue to dispense the word of God in the spirit of the word. Because the word is life and it is power and it is quick and it is sharper than any two edges. So it can pierce marrow vessel, every artery that you can think of. The word can penetrate through. And therefore this night we want to thank God. Amen. We have our missionary again. I understand that some people like to listen missionary pray. Amen. She she she's a she's a stalwart. Oh yes, that mistress. She's like a Rhoda. Yeah, yeah. A Mary, a Martha, yeah, yeah. A Sarah, a Rachel, a Rebecca, <laughs> and all the characteristic quality, yes. So she's gonna just bless the Lord with a short prayer. And we'll get into the word of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Is that all right? Praise ye the Lord. Amen. Missionary, your turn. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless your holy name. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for his good and his mercy endureth forever. Let the redeemer of the Lord say so. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we are in your presence once more to sit at your feet and to eat of your word. Here, God, your manservant is before you. First of all, I want to put him, Lord, in your presence, that, God, you will use him as a voice back, O oh God, to your people, as they sit to listen to your word. We pray that they will not only listen because they want to listen, but, God, something might come from his mouth and reach their heart, and it becomes a seed, and it will spring up and grow and bring forth fruit. Because your word told us, O oh God, that your word will not return unto you void, but it will accomplish that which is sent to be. So because Amen. of that tonight, Thank God, we you, just want to Amen. lift you up and to worship you and to praise you, honor you and adore you, glorify you, God, for you are God and there is none like you. Father God, you are wonderful, you are great, you are marvelous, you are excellent in all your ways. So God, I just want to thank you for another evening of Bible study. Father, we just pray that you will come in and dine with us. Oh God, I pray that you will make the word simple that, oh God, our heart can enjoy it, oh God. And as we eat, oh God, let it be digestive to our system, oh God, and to the elements around us. God, for those who are watching, we just pray a divine covering, you, divine Lord. protection, oh you. God, and guidance for your people. Even now, oh, Father Lord. God, we Amen. pray in the name of Jesus, Amen. and we take authority against every false spirit, God, that will muster in and around your people mm. at this time. God, I pray and say thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. I've been troubled, when I say troubled, just by in the spirit of inspiration and revelation and in reference to the holy word of God. Amen. And I want to still look in the book of Luke chapter 15. I don't know why the master keep me in it. Amen. But I want to continue until he tell me find another way out into the, my word. Um, this night we want to talk on the trusted father the trusted father and before we get into the depths one I want to read from Luke uh, chapter 15 something in my mind here we already know what verse 11 says and he said a certain man has two sons verse 12 and the younger of them said to his father Note, says to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falleth or belongeth to me. And he divided unto them his living. I strongly believe that this father is a trusted father. Looking at the Bible. 
and he divided unto them. That blew my mind. Divided unto them. I mean, he shared the inheritance with all those who are involved in this inheritance. Therefore, it would suggest that the father portion plus the elder brother portion plus the younger son who took his portion. So, when I look at the word trusted, it suggests a person with morality, integrity, characteristic quality. His deportment was beyond question. His conduct was beyond any doubt in, his, in, in my mind that this is a trusted father. I just put one word in it. A good father. This father divided the goods that followed to each person. And we notice after he divided it, and not many days after the young man, the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into the far country. And there he wasted it. Is substance with righteous living. I pass to say, the trusted father is a great motivator. A trusted father is one who rejuvenated in caring and sharing. Trusted father, because you cannot trust some father. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A motivator behind all this. And I believe this trusted father dispensed discipline in regard to his sons. And I believe he maybe did have daughters too. And according to the scripture here, a trusted father would mold and teach his sons in regard to integrity and morality. But don't forget, I told you early on in the context of the subject that we got to be extremely careful that there is a spirit in the scripture that worketh in the sons of disobedience. Because sometimes disobedience drawn us to go astray. But Jesus used this illustrated point in the scripture that the father has two sons and it demonstrate now we got to be careful as to where we go and when we go and why we go hmm. and he spend all and note what arose a mighty family a trusted father love is children a trusted father would guide his children. A trusted father is a caring father who take care of his children. Trusted father. A one who desire to see the best of his sons. And while his son requests his portion, I believe it might break his heart. But somehow, remember, a trusted father is one who pray. In this portion of scripture, this trusted father demonstrate that I did my best for my son. But as time rolled, when the Bible says, he went to the far country, and verse 15 says, and he went and joined himself to a citizen. Pause and reverse for a moment. Look in verse 14. And when he had spent all, when he wasted all, nothing leave. There arose a mighty 
famine in the land. And he began to be in wants. The famine was beyond his control. But note. And he went. Jain himself. To a citizen. Don't ask me if the citizen have sons or daughter, but he get connected to this citizen, which the Bible did not give us the clarity, say maybe he have sons, maybe he have children, whatever form, shape, or fashion. But thank God for this citizen of the far country that hid this young man. And he sent him into his field to feed swine. The lowest degradation status of this young man has hit the rock bottom. A trusted father who loves his children. Can you imagine if this father did come and see his son in this condition? I think he would speak in a different language. The trusted father. Notice here, as he joined himself to the far country and placed into the swine pen, the Bible says he would fain uh -huh, have to fill his belly with the ox. That the swine did heat. So what this. When you are in pig prison. What the pig heat. You got to eat. And also what the pig drink. You got to drink. Can I, can, I, can I go a little further? Example. If you are in the penal institute. Whatever penal institute you has been held captive in. Whatever they prepare as a penal person who are charged for whatever are held in that penal institute and what grounds, whatever they put out, you must participate, or then you will uh, suffer hungry and maybe die too. Because once you are held in the state, uh, in, the, in the whatever country you are owner of the state. Uh, all right. And this boy now was the owner of the pig pen. The pig pen owns him. A far countryman owns him. And so we find that the Bible says he would fain. No one gave unto him. Why no one gave unto him. And when he came to himself. Watch this verse 17 now. When he came to the total realization of who he is. And who his father is. And who his family inheritance is. My father is not a poor man. Oh my God, my father have a much servant. Watch this now. He loses joy. Because there's no one to rejoice with him. He loses peace. He loses his inheritance. In other words, he lost his blessing that he get from his father. Oh, praise the Lord. Walking in what you call a disobedient lane. A lane that take him to the far country. And held him in the pig prison for a period of time. But his sentence is up. And his sentence has come to a conclusion. He said, he said it in verse 7. And when he came to himself. He said, O oh, many iron servant of my father. Mm. I've bread enough and to spear, and I perish with hunger. <laughs> Who praise the Lord? 
the trusted father. The young man know who is his father. He know who exactly is his father. And he know the conduct of his father. He know the characteristic quality of his father. He know the motive of his father. He know the love of his father. He know all about his father. He said here, he has bread enough and to spear. He trusts that his father have more than enough that I'm perishing for hungry in big prison. No. The trusted father. Pause right there. The trusted father love his sons. Love his family. Trusted father. Trusted father would build a great relationship with his family because if so be the case he did not build a good relationship with his family, the young man could not say in verse 18, I will arise and go to my father. Note, and I will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee. The trusted father rule with good parental conduct, good parental deportment, good parental service to his sons. That's why this young man can rise up and say, I'm going home to my father. Because I trust him even if I go home and I'm not even called a son. I'll be more than happy to be a servant in the vineyard. Hallelujah. The trusted father, parent, and take care of his family. Oh, this trusted father never absent out of their life. Never absent out of their life. Because the scripture says here, a trusted father will protect his son from predators of all kind. Protect his sons from negativity outcome. Oh yes, a trusted father will be make sure he is present not only by physical but emotional oh yes and he will involve uh -huh, into their life this father is a trusted father that involved in this young man life he went out full came back to his father empty but the father who is one that you can trust he did not even blink an eye to restore his son because he knew his son. Here goes the scripture. The trusted father would not play the uninterested action like the elder brother. I'm not interested. I don't even care because he's not. Note, according to verse 18, I will arise. Note who is going home to his father. He's not going home to me. Nor you. Nor he. Nor she. He's going home to his father who he can rely on, who he can depend on, I'm not going into no pig pen when I go home. Hallelujah. The trusted father will see to it that his son has been fed. Because in the pig pen, he state categorically clearly that I'm perishing for hungry. This father is kind and he's gentle and he's make sure. He listen to his son when he return home. If you don't actively love your children, I don't make it clear that you love them. 
then they won't listen to you when you might speak to them. And remember, I believe that this father teach them the morality and integrity and deportment and service and conduct of all a young man should be brought up. But don't forget, there's a spirit of stubbornness that operates in the sons and daughters. Therefore, there's a spirit that worketh will draw you out of church, draw you out of your family home, draw you out of your comfort zone. And I'm sometimes glad that sometimes that spirit takes some of us out of our cocoon and comfort zone and lead us to the far country. The young man went to far country university, come home back with a great degree. He can testify that I've been into the pig pen. I know how hungry feel. I know how nobody don't talk to me because the Bible said no one give to him. Mm -hmm. It's all easy to talk about I am a father. It's all easy to make a lot of nice that I have how many sons and daughters. But are you a trusted father that can be relied upon even when your son went astray and end up into the pig pen and end up leaving the pig prison and return back home, how are you going to handle such a matter? Let's go to the scripture. I will arise and take the journey back home to my father. I'm going home because I trust my father. That he will never leave me, nor forsake me. Notice, as the Bible says, the trusted father speak love. That's why in 1 Corinthians 13 and verse 1 says, Though I speak with the tongues, and have no love or charity. I'm like a tinkling symbol, making a lot of noise, but nothing is behind it. Only a different language with tongues, but not a trusted father. They will have no reason to trust your discipline if you are not dispensing love as a trusted father and they would not become a person of good morality if you does not deposit good integrity in them they will not follow your example if you don't set the rules of a good example as a trusted father Watch this. A trusted father is a great provider. I give you this one deeply quick. Of compassion. And compassion mixed with mercy. And mercy connect to love. Those three components will blow your mind. Every trusted father must possess this characteristic quality. The trusted father... Listen good. Uh, can I go a little further down into the scripture? And when the young man arose, verse 20, verse 20, the young man arose and came to his father. Watch this word. But when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him. And had compassion. Did we just say that? A trusted father is one who is a great provider of compassion. Compassion never leave this father. Why pastor? Because he has the mixture with grace. He has the mixture with mercy. He connected with love. This father.
Father will greatly rejoice. Oh, yes. As he know his son. Listen what the Bible said. But when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him. The trusted father saw him. The trusted father know him. The trusted father run to go get him. Oh God, here goes the Bible. And as he has compassion on him. So before he run to get his son, compassion already going in front. Bless be the Lord. This trusted father connected with love. He know exactly how to run to go get his son. And he fell on his neck and kissed him. This father, I could depict him in the book of Proverbs chapter 23 and verse 24. The father of the righteous shall greatly rejoice. Did we see it happening here? Yeah. Because he says down here, when he make all the provider, let's look in verse 24. For this my son was dead and is alive. He was lost. And his phone, and they began to make merry. Watch back in Proverbs chapter 23 24. The father of the righteous shall greatly rejoice. What are you rejoicing about? My son was dead and is alive. My son was lost, but he is found. My son, who was estranged, but now he is home. Hallelujah. Rejoice. Listen what the scripture say. And he that begetteth a wise child shall have joy of him. Although we might press down, kill down, push off, this boy belongs to this father. So he is the one who have the prerogative right to restore him. Oh yes. To reconcile him, bring him back, because he's his son. Here goes the Bible. The book of Psalms 103, verse 13. Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord. That is the heavenly Father. The fruit of the womb. Or reward like arrow in the hand of a warrior are their children of one youth blessed is the man who has his quiver filled with them he shall not be put to shame when he speak his enemy in the gate when speak with his enemy in the gate Psalms 127 verse 3 Watch this what the Bible says back to verse 20. And he arose and came to his father. He arose and came to his father. Why did he come to his father? He did not go and hang out with no more person of the far country. He came to his father. He never go to join himself with another person in that country of his father or that country where he birthed in. He go right, who, hallelujah, he go right back to his father. And watch what he says when he come back to his father. He says in verse 18, I will rise and go to my father and will say unto him, Father, I've sinned against heaven. I acknowledge my transgression and my sin are ever before me. Uh, Father, I'm asking you to blot out my transgression. Father, I'm asking you to renew a right spirit in me. Renew your holy anointing in me. Let me not be ashamed, Father. I'm back home, my God. Couldn't feel that, brother. Oh, Father, blot out 
my transgression. Blot out my far country attitude. Blot out my far country conduct. Blot out my pig pen behavior. Blot out the pig prison out of my mind. Father, hear what he said. He said it here. I have sinned against heaven and before thee. And I'm not more worthy to be called thy son. Make me one of thy hired servants. I will take the lowest and menial job as a servant. Oh, no, sir, because the father know who is his son. He could not turn his back on his son. Why? Watch this. Jesus did something here. If your son asks him for bread, will you give him a stone? A trusted father will not give his son a stone. A trusted father will not poison his son. The trusted father would not throw his son into a pool and let him drown. The trusted father will not leave his son to the wolf to let him tear him in pieces. The trusted father will not hand over his son to the enemy, to the lion, to the crips, or whatever name you would call them. No, sir. Or if he asks for a fish, will you give him a serpent? Oh, the trusted father will not hand over his son to a serpent to kill, to let it sting you with poisonous venom. The trusted father. If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your father, who is in heaven, give? Good things to those who ask. Matthew 7, verse 9 to 11. Ah! Love is patient. Love is kind. Love knows not envy or boast. A trusted father must have these characteristic qualities. Love, peace, joy, long-suffering. In the book of Galatians 5, the earth. The fruits of the spirit because you see the fruits of the spirit connected to one source remember example now a mango tree have one stump even if you want to broaden it out and say that more than one stump is fine but one mango tree have many branch so is love every one of those fruit connect with love long suffering if you don't have no love you can't carry out long suffering uh, 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 no, no, no. back to the scripture love does not envy or boast it's not arrogant or rude it does not insist on its own way it is not irrevocable or resentful it does not rejoice and in wrongdoing watch this but rejoice with the truth rejoice with them that weak rejoice with them that coming out of a far country the elder brother never have this characteristic quality although he was with the trusted father all the days oh he never possessed these oh yes love bear all things believe all things expect all things endure all things love this is a trusted father with the full package he have the full package love just radiate because remember when he ran to meet his son he ran with compassion I remember compassion tied with love and tie with mercy and tie with gentleness and meekness and long suffering oh he tie with the whole package this is a trusted father, brother. He endured all his shame when his son leave. Because might be people in the community asking, what, what happened to Mr. Who's son is gone? You don't see him. But look what happened. Look what happened. A trusted father will pray for his son, his daughter, 
And not only sons and daughters, he will pray for his next door neighbor. He will pray for all mankind, those that are in authority, kings and queens, etc. He will, a trusted father. Let all that you do be done in love. My God, pray, trusted Father, needs the guidance of the universal Father, of the redemptive Father, of the holy heavenly realms Father. A trusted Father, most connected to the heavenly source who give wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Hear what the Son says, verse 20. He ran. Father ran to meet his son. Verse 21 says, And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven, and in thy sight, and I know more worthy to be called thy son. But, the context continues, the father, but the trusted father said to his servant. I, I, I keep saying this, brother. The trusted father in the Bible here did not respond or answer to his son. He says to his servant, Servant, hear what you do. Bring forth the best robe. This trusted father of provision is a provider. He has clothes put down. <laughs> for his son that went off to the far country because he's a provider he have robes stacked because his son says how many hired servant he have and he have bread to spear and if he have bread to spear he must have robe to spear <laughs> Because this young man reached back home. He went out with his inheritance. Came back. Broke. Came back empty. I would like to see him in the condition when he would, hallelujah, when he returned home. How can a person coming out of a big prison And I would like to see how that person looked. And don't ask me how long he was in the pig pen. Don't ask me how long he was held captive in the pig pen. Don't ask me how long he was incarcerated in the pig pen. He was in custody by the pig pen. Far countryman gave him a job. Our assignment because uh, you're a slave, you don't get paid. <laughs> you get somewhere to stay. No carefully, trusted father. Demonstrate a perfect dad, perfect father in this young man's life. In spite of the downfall, in spite of his waywardness, in spite of the influence of the spirit that dragged him out of his house. In spite of his far country conduct. In spite of his reckless and careless and wantonness and last viciousness behavior. The trusted father received him back home. And nothing would make a father rejoice like this father. He said, come let us rejoice because my son was dead. And he's now alive. I'm glad that he's coming home. I don't care what all that life he live. I don't care how much club and rubber dub he went. I'm not in that mood to even go down that lane. What I rejoice in is alive. What I rejoice in is not dead. He's alive. And the trusted father hug him. Trusted father kiss him. Trusted Father provide a robe. A trusted Father provide ring. 
the trusted father provides shoes. Oh, what a trusted father. This trusted father do everything right and book. He was so potentiality. But the trusted father bring him to reality now. Say, boy, you is my son. This is your home. Behave yourself at home. The trusted father. After all. That this son have done. He says. Come on. You are my son. After all that he has rebelled. And go against evil rules. And regulation. And standard. And morality. And integrity. And conduct. Dear, he, he, he trusted father already taught him how to uphold integrity and righteousness. But somehow he flanders by the wayside. Somehow he missed the mark. He am a thorner. But thank God when some of us miss the mark, God gave us one more time. God bring him back home safe. Who is trusted father? God reconcile him back home. Say, go home, boy. Back to your father. The trusted father don't abuse his son nor his daughter. A trusted father does not molest his son or his daughter. A trusted father all to his integrity in reference to the Bible in reference to the word of God because father provoke not your child don't bring provocation he bring back his son into the family into the fold but somebody did not like it somebody upset and get angry and get austenious and get bitter. No, what is happening? I heard music. Oh, who cares what you heard? It's not your son, Mr. Elder Brother. The father have the prerogative right. He have the first speak and he have the last speak. It's just like the heavenly father. Some of us were messed up. We're not even worthy to even go in a big prison. So, yeah, amen. Amen. We're not even worthy to go in a big prison. But the Heavenly Father, who sent forth his only begotten son, suffer, die, buried, descended into Hades, and the third day was rose from the dead. He calling you right now to get out of the pig pen. Get out of the pig prison. Get out of the pig den. Get out of that jurisdiction that holds you captive. You hear his voice this night. Say, preacher, pray for me. Preacher. Pray for me. Pray for my family. Right where we are, shall we just bow our heads and look to the Lord in prayer. Father, we thank you for your word this blessed night. Oh, we praise you, we honor you, we glorify you, we shabak you, we told a praise you, we tell Lita praise you, we give you a Zamar praise. We bless you, oh God, for you are the only wise God, King, immortal, invisible, the only true and absolute self-existing cause, God. We worship you in spirit. We humble say, you are Abba, our Father. And even now, Lord, you know where your daughter and your son is right now. I pray that the Spirit of God will bring revelation to their mind. Oh, God, renew a mind within them. Bring them out of such jurisdiction of the power of darkness. Rescue them from the unslaughter of the wicked one. Open their blinded eyes and set them free. Pull them from the pig pen in the name of Jesus. And send them back home to their trusted father their trusted mother, in the name of Jesus. We bless you for what you will be doing, and we praise you for when you will do it. 
in the exalted name Christ Jesus. God bless you, my brother. God bless you, my sister. Now may grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you, be with me, be with your family, be with your neighbor. Now, henceforth forevermore, God bless you. Amen. And if your heart so desire, please go on Gospel Way YouTube. If you have desire, subscribe. And if your heart so desire, go and cash up. And it's dollar sign gospel way church i want to thank all those who are giving through cash up to this ministry Mwah. god bless you and i pray even now that your basket will never empty you will be financially strong oh god in the name of jesus we declare it and believe it in jesus name amen and amen